first alert weather with Cassie Campbell is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. Welcome back to Heartland Afternoon. Jeffrey, how's your day been? I feel like I haven't seen you all day. Truthfully, it's been a great day. I've been all over the place today going across the Heartland and I've gotten to edit some cool stuff that you will see later in the show. Please stick with us. It is quite funny, but it's informational. Also, this next graphic that you're about to show us, I'm so intrigued by it. Oh, uh, the records? Yes. Because, you know, today is the first official day of summer, so I want to go ahead and take a look at what are we normally sitting at, temperature-wise? So, okay. so get it, Jeffrey. The uh, yeah. records for the day. You're so punny. Our, our, oh, thank you. Our record highs, our record low, and our record rain. For this day, reaching back, we're looking at 97. That was in 1990. 54 as our record low in 2005. And about almost roughly two and a half inches of record rain. And that was set back in 2015. Luckily, we don't have no records for snow at the end of June, at least for where our records date back to. So looking across the heartland now, lots of sunshine across the area. We are dry. It's nice to be out and about. It is a little bit warm though, so just take some cautions if you're outside. Maybe take a couple of breaks in the shade. We do have a couple of clouds that have trickled through. We're going to stay under these partly cloudy skies throughout the afternoon and into this evening, heading out the door tomorrow morning. Some partly cloudy skies to kick off the day and they'll linger throughout the afternoon. We're still going to get a a little bit of sunshine here and there throughout Friday afternoon into Friday evening, staying mostly dry through the next couple of days. Came around a brief pop up shower, but for the most part, all of us are going to be dry, sunny, and pretty warm as we head into your weekend. Saturday morning, partly cloudy skies to kick off the day, and then we'll continue under those partly cloudy skies for the afternoon. So kind of a little bit of a rinse and repeat forecast. We have high pressure overhead, which is giving us some pretty calm weather for a couple of days. If you plan to be outdoors, here is your sneeze cast. We have trees and grasses under that moderate category. Weeds and mold, they're looking pretty low. And I do want to point out that dust and dander is at the extreme level. So if that happens to uh, have an influence on your allergies. Take precautions there heading outside. Right now looking outdoors at the west side of Cape Girardeau. Can see again a couple of those cumulus clouds with the sun still able to shine right through those. We'll see those temperatures drop down to the low to mid 80s around 730 8 o'clock with the breeze staying pretty light out of the east southeast. Lows tomorrow morning upper 60s to low 70s. By the time we get to the afternoon, we're going to increase to the mid 90s. 94 in Mount Vernon, 92 in Paducah, 91 in Poplar Bluff, 92 in Cape Girardeau. We'll be in those low to mid 90s Friday and Saturday, sticking with those partly cloudy skies. We do have a little bit of a front that'll push through Saturday night into Sunday. That's going to increase our chances just a little bit for some scattered showers and thunderstorms possibly on Sunday. Warm up quite quickly for Monday. It is going to be hot kicking off next week. Upper 90s, that's going to make our feels like temperatures even warmer than that. And then tracking another round of rain by next Wednesday.